Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of the Academy for Audit and Compliance, which is the APIP and the Compliance Matrix. We just talked a little bit about the APIP and how we are trying to comply to the APIP and ensure it through the ECB audit system. But now we have a little bit more of a look at what is the APIP and what is the compliance metrics. So looking at what we're doing, uh, we have the APIP, we have the compliance to the APIP policies and the compliance metrics. So again, we're keeping it quite short and simple so um, you can follow quite easily. So we have the APIP. It is the official document that has all of the minimums, all of the responsibilities in there, what each member of ISAC needs to do to ensure that we're delivering the best um, experience as possible. Um, that is, it is a delivering um, a leadership experience. So looking at the objective is that we do have, like I said, the minimums of each experience. We do have the role and responsibilities when it comes to the execution of these. And also obviously that um, ICB and ECB are governing the APIP. I did put the link in here as well. And it is honestly your Bible. <laughs> the APIP is the most important document for the ECBs, for ICB. And it's very important that you do check it out. If you open it, you come over here and you have the whole document. It is 150 pages. It is a lot, but it's very worth it to go through it. You don't need to know every single policy. It is more important that you understand where are these things um, located. So if we say something like we want to see the policies for GV, so then you understand where it is where it is in the APIP or that it actually exists there. You don't need to like quote policies, but it is very important to understand all of the um yeah, the content of the APIP since in the end we are trying to ensure that um things are being followed up. Then going over to the actual compliance of the APIP and why it is so important. Um, I did have a, an example here, for example, that an exchange participant goes on exchange but is getting deported due to not have it, uh, due to having the wrong visa. This case is not uncommon. Um, there has been a few EPs where this has happened, um, not necessarily being deported. We had this as well, but also beforehand where. They didn't get their visa, they got the wrong visa, they couldn't go in exchange. It is a very scary situation for an EP. I mean, in the end, EPs are also just human beings. They're just like me and you. And it could have been avoided. And this is why the, the compliance to the APIP is so important, is that we do have these policies in place that we ensure that the EP has the right visa, that we send the right information. Um, and having something like this can cause not only the ep um, like emotional distress but it can also uh, result into an expensive reimbursement if isaac is at fault then you would need to reimburse the whole uh, flight all of the costs involved and obviously the ep cannot go on exchange if they were deported most likely they're blocked for the country for a little while so it is really important with the compliance audit from the ECB, so the ECB audit system, that we have certain things in place that we can check that the LCs are educated on it as well. And this is just one example. Like there are so many multiple examples. We do have a lot of customer support cases. We have a lot of quality and ECB cases. So they all, most of them could have been avoided if the uh, if they were. If they would have followed the APIB policies, there obviously are some cases where the EP just didn't listen to the uh, to take the right visa. But um, yeah, those can also be happening. But then it's obviously not in our control. But this is in our control that we can actually ensure that these policies are being followed. So overall, it is a credible tool, the ECB audit system, and just complying to the APIP policies because. It is obviously risk, like we're just avoiding so many risks. Um, we're preventing from customer cases hap to be happening. Um, so, and to in the end ensure that people are having leadership experiences, which is the core of ISAC. 
Then, last but not least, is our compliance matrix. So this is another tool that can help us to identify what can actually go wrong. Um, so what can entities actually violate in the APIP? Because obviously it is a massive document and the compliance matrix is pretty much like a checklist. Um, it is a checklist that can help you to identify as well. We have it categorized in different um, levels and different risks as well. I will open it up. You have um, the current version here. It is going through a change. So be mindful of that. Um, and then we have more materials as well on the compliance matrix because it is the core of audit and compliance as well. Um, it is not our Bible, but it's our baby, <laughs> pretty much, that uh, we have the APIP, which is obviously the most important document, but the compliance matrix for audit and compliance is just a good tool to help us. So looking at the compliance matrix, you do see that we have these different types of risks. So we have continuity, we have financial risk, performance, reputational and legal. And depending on how many risks are involved, they have a different severity level. So it is also very important that you go through that you understand which kind of violations there are. Um, like I said, they will be going through a change, but the core in the end like each violation represents a policy in the apip so if you read the apip you will see a lot of the violations um, that you are already um, used to and that you know but it is just very important to understand what can actually go wrong and you have a great overview here it is a lot of violations because obviously the um, APIP is a big document, um, so make sure to read through it to make sure to just, um, yeah, just have a look through it and get familiar with the compliance matrix as well. But yeah, that was it for the second part. Now we will go over to the third part. And yeah, thank you for listening. <laughs>